Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this lesson, let us understand the first type of testing that is functional testing. In the previous lesson, we talked about four types of testing, functional testing, non-functional testing, structural testing and change related testing. So the first type of testing, let us understand a little bit more deeply. So what is functional testing? So functional testing examines the software based on its documented and undocumented functional requirements. So the software is built based on the requirements specified by its users or end users or customers. So functional testing focuses to ensure that the software is as per its requirements. Sometimes all the requirements may not have been documented. So we as testers, we need to understand some of the un undocumented expectations of end users and even we have to focus on them. So the first point about functional testing is functional testing examines the software based on documented and undocumented functional requirements. So it looks at the system from a user's perspective. What are the inputs? How as per the requirements have they been processed properly or not? And are they processing and producing the right outputs? So functional testing looks at the system from a user's perspective, inputs and outputs. And also we use written specifications that is the test basis we use to perform functional testing. We use written specifications. Sometimes we use user manuals and sometimes we use the software's design models like the state transition model, like the use case model and sometimes the user's expectations as the information that we can apply to do functional testing. So that is what we call the test basis, all the information that is used for doing testing that is called test basis. So the third point, keep it in mind, functional testing uses written specifications, user manuals, models and user's expectation as the test basis. And the fourth point is, it may be performed at any or all test levels. So you can do functional testing at a unit level, you can do functional testing at an integration level and you can you actually do a lot of functional testing at system level and acceptance level. So keep in your mind, functional testing can be performed and will be performed at any or all test levels. Then the fifth point is functional testing includes interoperability testing to confirm that the component or system is able to interact correctly with other components and systems. That is what we call inter interoperability testing. Let's say my software has to work with a web server. So is it interacting with the web server in the correct way or not also falls under functional type of testing. So please keep it in mind. So you have understood five points related to functional testing. Now let us do a little bit of knowledge check. So read the question. Which of the following sentences describes best what functional testing is? So select one of them. So A, functional testing, test in which the test cases and test data are based on the program structure of the test object. Does functional testing do that? It tests or we do testing on the program structure of the test object. If we are doing on the program structure of the test object, that is structural type testing, that is not functional testing. B, a static comparison of test and requirement specifications of a test object. Is it functional testing? No, it comes under static testing. C, a dynamic test by executing code. When we are talking about dynamic test, it is executing code. So a dynamic test, which is based on the specification of the 
test object is it yes or no think about it but let us not answer right away let us look at the choice d as well a test focused on the efficient interactions among different parts of the system so which is the right answer which is the best answer for functional testing yes you are right that is the answer is c a dynamic test which is based on the specification of the test object so that is the right answer so hope you have understood please post your questions on discussion forum i'll be answering you so learn and have fun